Dee. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, welcome back. It's a Saturday night, and uh, or maybe it's Sunday where you are. <laughs> My name's Kat. Who are you? And where are you watching from? Uh, I do these every week on Saturdays currently, and um, yeah, if you want the live notification, if you are watching this after our live stream but you want to join us live make sure that you hit subscribe and that you uh, hit the bell notification because I think if you hit the bell notification you will get notified when I go live so that makes it a little bit easier to remember Mike B oh it's Saturday which means you must be in America yes the States that's awesome uh, right now I'm live streaming to Facebook and to YouTube so, wherever you're watching from, sometimes I can even highlight your comments. Woohoo! Jacob, how's your day today? Fantastic! It's been a great day. Uh, what did I do? I've been prepping for this. I've been making other origami things too. Cleaning the house. Sono tori, yeah! <laughs> and uh, just actually having a pretty chill day in general. I went to the grocery store, which was great stood in line for that with a mask and everything doing the uh, stock up of things so it's uh, going to the grocery store has become quite an event how are you hi Dean great to see you yeah so I should write a little banner to let everybody know what we're doing today how are you doing Dean I haven't seen you I haven't seen your face in a long long time uh, uh, wait, let me just see if I can edit this one. We are making a geometric star today. Um, uh, why don't you, why don't you prepare? Uh, we need, you're gonna, you could get post-its. I think post-its will work, but you're gonna want 12 of these sheets of paper. I know I said 16. You only actually need 12, but you know, it might be good to have 16 just in case you make a mistake. And we are going to make a geometric star. Wheel, 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 wheel. It might be cool. I made this all yellow because I thought I want to make an actual star, star, but I think it could be fun to have three different colors. So you could get a piece of origami paper and cut it into quarters, or you could literally just get post-its today. Yeah. Why don't you grab some post-its? Uh, post-its and join in. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make this a scroll thing. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> Kia ora, Jay! How are you? Um, I am doing a weekly origami workshop. We're gonna make a star. It's gonna be super fun, super, super cool. So come join me if you like. Grab some post-its or prep some of your own little paper and we can get going. Okay. Uh, yes. So while everyone's preparing, I normally play a song Hi, Michihiro-san! Welcome! Hey! <laughs> this is great. I get to highlight everyone's comments. Yeah! This is so fun. Um, but while I kind of give everybody time to get some paper, I'll play you a song. I just released a song called Outside Inside. Uh, it's the acoustic version. Um, Eden and I released the... Uh, the non-acoustic version back in January and it was amazing it got picked up for um, the new like the main new music Friday Spotify playlist which was incredible I got like almost a hundred thousand listens in one day and it meant a lot just to have your music reach people hi Lynn thanks for joining me are you ready you can get some paper um, and so I Today's uh, song before the workshop starts, I think I want to play that one. I do normally take requests, but today I'm going to request Outside Inside Acoustic Version. 
Okay, cat, I'll do it for you. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, here we go. Let me know if the volume is okay. My mic is here. I don't know how loud it's gonna be. Oh my goodness, it is 112 Fahrenheit in Arizona. That is, I don't even know how hot that is. How hot is that in Celsius, Lynn? How hot is that? Eh? Arizona is 118 Like 42 degrees Celsius? 42 Arizona. It's too much. <laughs> So, uh, I think there's going to be links in the description, but Outside Inside came out yesterday. I just released the, um, the lyric video, which I made right here on this desk using this painting as the background. So, um, it was a really fun video to make. I didn't have much time to make it. I didn't even know I was going to make it, except that our um, videographer who was working on our actual proper video, he, um, he called me like the day before we were supposed to get the video and he goes, um, so I tried to save a cat from a dog, but then the cat attacked my hand and now my hand is going into septic shock and so I can't use it for a week. So, uh, so we're like, okay, uh, I'll make my own video. You just rest up your hand. So <laughs> that's where we are with that video right now. Hi, Kevin. How are you? So good to see you. I'm singing a song and then we're going to fold. I'm going to show everybody how to fold a geometric star. So if you've just joined, um, get some post-its or paper about this size ready. We need 12, okay? And uh, while I'm going to sing and then we're going to share stories. I'm going to share my stories with you while we, uh, while we do stuff, <laughs> okay? Hi, Yamada-san, welcome. the party, that's what they call me, snap another shot to a blow to my story, the lines I'm rehearsing, don't wanna be boring, all the voices keeping me up till the morning, how am I walking, what am I wearing, if I'm honest it can get a little exhausting, take a step back and take a deep breath and just be,
was Outside Inside. And I hope you are all ready for star making time. So this is a uh, this is like modular origami, and I don't think I've ever taught. Hope you can hear me okay. I don't think I've taught modular origami on here before. In fact, I haven't really spent much time making modular origami until just recently. So I've been trying to kind of make fun um, geometric shapes like this. Just tried doing this. Like this is a box that I've seen a lot in Japan. This is actually very common. So maybe next week. Oh no, the week after, we'll do this. But today I want to make the star. It's the coolest thing. And it's, uh, it's actually not too hard, but it looks really cool. So it's going to be a lot of repetition, which is great. With origami, hi hero, yeah. With, uh, with this kind of stuff, the cool thing is repetition. And the best thing about origami, or the best way to learn origami is just through repetition. Oh, Lin says... Hi Amber, hi Ryan, shout out, yeah, <laughs> awesome, I don't see Amber or Ryan here, but they must be here, I'm not sure if I'm seeing all the comments, I hope I am, Jacob says he's ready, that's awesome, Jacob's ready, I think Hero's ready too, so let's go, I'm just gonna swap the camera out, okay, and I'll make this one bigger, sweet, so, 12 pieces, 12 sheets let's um let's just start with start with one here and so i'm gonna put the white side up and we are going to fold this into let's see if i can do this do, do, do. okay we'll do this here and <laughs> move it up hi ryan hi amber welcome all right so here we go you ready i hope you are i am let's do it oh wait let me put some background music on. Um, sorry, things are a little crazy because I'm doing this all, uh, all in my lonesome. Whoops. Here we go. Got some background music. Oh, that's awesome, Ryan. Ryan is here with his daughter. Shout out to Ryan and his daughter. Cool. Okay, let's do this. Start with a piece of paper and we're going to fold this in half. So, here to here. Okay, and then open it up. And we're going to fold this side to the middle, and this side to the middle. And open these up. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to fold. I'm going to do this side. Uh, these two corners here. So I'm going to fold this corner into here. And then this corner into here. Oops get it as flush as possible and then this corner into this line and it should look like this I'm on the inside all right I hope everyone's ready for step two if not, remember we're going to fold 12 of these, so it's okay. <laughs> and we're going to fold these two in, and it should look like this. Okay. And then we're going to fold this corner 
down. So this line is perfect. This line gives us an indication of how we should fold. I'm just going to flip this over and fold this up. So fold it right here on this line. Or like this. From here to this. Here to here. Cool. And then flip this over. And we're going to fold this corner to this corner. And it should look like this. Okay, once you're here, why don't you give me a thumbs up so I know to move on. a thumbs up but I'm just assuming we're good to go hopefully we're good <laughs> okay and then we're gonna fold this corner into here this side into here so this cut this is gonna come in side here like this and then this corner is gonna tuck in under here like this does this make sense we're good all right okay now what we're gonna do is we are going to fold along this line good vibes yeah yeah, you know, Junichi san said, um, this is like, um, this is, kore shuriken tsukuru no moto desu yo ne. I think you can make, like, stars with this too, like, different, the flat stars, like the ninja stars. <laughs> um, let's see if I can do this. Maybe I can do this. So you can make ninja stars with this. I need to double check. I've made them before, but I can't remember what they were. Okay, so now we're going to fold this, so fold it kind of up into a crown. This is how I see it. Fold it up into itself, so you fold it at the X. Now it should look like a crown, yeah? Hi Colton! Welcome, long time no see, how are you? We've only just started folding Colton, so we're going to fold these stars. And so just grab some post-it notes and come join us. There's still lots of time. Okay, so we should have this crown looking thing. And then we're gonna fold this corner into here and this corner back. So fold it like this and then flip it over and fold it like this. And it should kind of, it should look like a Z, like that. Oh, I'm doing great, Colton. Thank you. <laughs> Where, uh, what state are you living in now, Colton? Okay. How was that? Was that good, everyone? You know, why don't I just keep making these? And if you want me to, because we need to make 12, so just fold away, make a 12 with me, and uh, you're in Denver, nice. Denver must be so nice right now. Okay, 
and then open it up, hold it in. Mm. Hi, Sophie! You're nine? Oh, that's awesome! So nice to meet you, Sophie. Have you folded origami before? Just so everybody knows who I'm talking to. Yeah! <laughs> Is this your first time or do you fold other things? <laughs> Colton, besides the pandemic, it's been great so far. Been here for six months. Denver, right? That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I guess everywhere is a little crazy right now. New Zealand's a good place to be right now. <laughs> um, sadly, I'm not there, but... Okay, and then we're gonna fold this corner in and this corner in. This. Fold these corners in. Ooh, the white paper is a little bit harder to see. Hi, Kusha. Okay, and then we're going to fold this up like a crown. And then fold this back. Flip it over, fold this back. And it should kind of zigzag. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> I know everyone's probably folding right now so it's not going to be easy to chat <laughs> to type in the chat but if anyone wants to share something interesting that happened to them this week or maybe um you know we don't really get to go out anymore but if you did go out what did you do i went surfing on tuesday which was awesome lately there's been a lot of dolphins out in venice and oh wow it is always so magical seeing dolphins i um i always just i don't know it's something about them just it's amazing it's magical um sadly i can't see underwater so i don't really get to see them you just get to see them kind of bob up and down but um well yeah it's always really special it's amazing and apparently they keep the sharks away so that's a good thing Jacob had work, Colton had work, Lynn said, is Ed still here? <laughs> Colton's still practicing music, that's awesome. Uh, yes, music is such a great release right now. It's so good to invest in yourself and to feel like you're growing in some way, so. Oh, Colton's working at a sandwich place called Cheba Hut. <laughs> Amber said, my family and I have been hiking a lot. That's so nice. It's so good to get out. Okay. I'm just assuming everyone's doing fine with these. So I'll just kind of speed along while I chat with all of you. Whoops. Never have myself, but I have in Japan with my... We went to Yellowstone. Ah! That is awesome. Oh, you've never done... Okay, sorry, I just I just got it now. You've never done origami by yourself. But you have in Japan with your mom. Okay. Oh, that is so cool. I'm so glad that you got to go outside. It's really good to get some sunshine. You know, even if we can't hang out with people outside very much, it's still good to go out. I don't get out enough. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, I would love to visit Yellowstone someday too, Amber. That would be so fun. There's still so much of the US that haven't explored yet. Okay, let's see if I can get this even closer. Here we go. <laughs> So, welcome to everyone who's come to my origami workshop for the first time. Um, nice to meet you if I haven't met you already. I think Lynn invited a bunch of people, which is so awesome. Thank you, Lynn, and all of, all of uh, you amazing people for joining me this Saturday. I do this every week. Um, on Saturdays at 8 p.m. Pacific time. You're half Japanese too! Amazing! Yeah! And uh, this, I started this during the pandemic just through quarantine. It was actually coincided with the release of my song Thousand Paper Cranes and I decided to just do a paper crane making live stream party to celebrate that song coming out. And it was so much fun, and I realized that this could be something that we could do together every week. So I started doing this on YouTube, and sometimes on Facebook. And it's so fun seeing all of the photos of your creations every week. Ah! I know that there are a lot of people who can't actually join us live and watch after we do these streams. But it's, uh, it's so nice getting like seeing the photos that, of, that everyone sends. And I've just started a Discord channel for those who use Discord. And so you can even pop those photos in there if you like. And I will share out your photos, any photos that you send me of your creations. Um, send them to me up, up on Discord or tag me in Instagram and I will share it. I'm so excited to see what everyone makes. Yeah, Colton, it was so nice to see you in Portland and LA one day. I don't know when I'll do a live show again, but but I've started playing more on Twitch. So I will be uh, singing there tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific time. And then I do these every week on Facebook and YouTube. But I'll do more singing on Twitch, so come join me. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, I've still got... How, ma how many has everyone made so far? Let me know. Just let me know how many you've made, because I don't know, I'm probably really slow, because I'm talking so much. It's not a race or anything, but how much time do we have? We've got another like 20, 25 minutes. Wait a minute. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ed. Happy birthday to you. Yeah! Happy birthday, Ed! <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh! Konnichiwa! Hello! Kanji yomenai! Onamai nan desu ka? Okay, Jacob's made seven. Oh, you're way ahead of me. I need to speed up a little bit. Mou! Jacob-san wa nana ko tsukurimashita. Atashi chotto okure chattiru wa. Minna wa dou kana? Where are you at? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Colton asked, 
Is there a Japanese version of Happy Birthday? Eh, o t a n j o b i no uta te nihongo version arimaska? Nihongo yaku aru kana? Is there a Japanese translation? I'm not sure. Be cool if there was. Yeah. Okay. Jiro! Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Jiro. Jiro san. Ima, origami no kusudamo tsukute mas. Mosio kata ra join shite kudasai. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Arimasuyo. Oh, okay, there is a Japanese version. Yeah, Nihongo no, I know, Nihongo no happy birthday no kashi te. Do you kanji desu ka? Your trip to Yellowstone, you went to the Grand Tetons too. The mosquitoes were annoying. Yes, mosquitoes are so annoying. I um, we don't get mosquitoes a lot in California, but yesterday I got three mosquito bites right here. I don't know how that happened. Ah, it was uh, um, it was horrible. <laughs> Namae da ke ga nihongo desu ne. Namae da ke ga nihongo desu ne. I'm not sure what you mean. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! I'm still、uh, way behind. Where is everyone else at? Do I, should I really? Should I hurry? I believe! Oh, that's so cool! Jiro san said he、uh, listened to I believe a lot. I believe! Yeah! Urishi des! Arigato! Yeah, I can't. I believe. It's one more. It's one more. See with your heart, learn to let yourself believe. Okay. Ooh. Okay, should hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> And the things I don't want or need thrown to the sidelines. Do, 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 do. Um, how about baking? Has everyone been doing a lot of baking? I,、uh, I have learned to make mochi donuts and they are amazing! Ah, so good!、Uh, bye, Colton! Thanks for hanging out! Hey, come find me on Twitch because I'm on Twitch all the time. There's a link below. I'll be, I'll be performing on Twitch tomorrow so. Come join me and send me your requests. I'll sing your request for you. <laughs> Bye! Yeah.、Uh, what was I saying? I forgot. Oh, yeah.、Uh, recently, I have learned to make mochi donuts, and they are so good. 
Uh, so you get, uh, what do you do? You get Japanese hotcake mix, which is like pancake, Japanese pancake mix. They call them, they used to call them hotcakes. And um, you got Japanese hotcake mix and tofu, soft tofu. And there's this thing called shiratamako, which is like, um, it's like mochi rice flour. Amber loves to bake, amazing. And so it's like mochi rice flour, and it's just those three ingredients. But you would roll them up into little balls, and you like stick them together into a little like ring donut kind of thing. And then you fry it. Oh, and then I make this lemon icing, like lemon icing for it with powdered sugar. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how easy it is, except for, you know, deep frying is, um, well, I do like a shallow pan fry, but the oil can get a bit annoying. Okay, how many have I got? Four more! How's everyone else doing? How many have you made so far? We've got to make 12. So Amber, what do you like to bake? Chasing dreams and chasing numbers Don't forget it's only a game ooh, ooh. Call your name It doesn't mean they know you like I do The power you seek Oh, Amber likes to make cinnamon rolls Yes! That sounds amazing Ooh. Um, mochi donuts, come on, Mace. Mochi donuts all the way. Yes. Oh, you just made okonomiyaki. That is so good. Okonomiyaki is like, for the longest time, we couldn't, we didn't know how to explain it. But I think okonomiyaki is like a cross between Japanese pizza and pancake. It's like a, because it's not sweet. And it, it's like it's like pancake mix without the sugar, plus a bunch of cabbage. It's like the weirdest thing to describe, but it's really amazing. And like if you put a lot of cabbage in it, then it's very um, very good for you and filling. And I love to add mochi and cheese to it, which uh, probably isn't that healthy, but makes it taste so good. And if you put the mochi and cheese like on the outside, it has this real crunch to it. Oh, so good. Ryan loves Okonomiyaki, yes, yeah, so good. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Food is so good. Just learned how to make cinnamon biscuits. Wait. Cinnamon biscuits? What? How? I. What? What is that? I am. Um, I don't know what that is. Do, do, do. What else? Um, I did recently make. Oh, I tried. I tried to make the macadamia nut cookies that uh, I got in Hawaii. So, they're so amazing. They're like macadamia shortbread, but I um, messed up the recipe, so it ended up becoming more like um, those wafer like cookies. <laughs> I didn't put enough flour in it. Uh, so it just went real bleh, like flat, but it was really good. So I might try making that again. Two cousins in Japan! That's awesome! How many cousins do I have in Japan? I have four. 
Four cousins in Japan, three cousins in the UK. It's fun. Do you get to see your cousins very often? You know, I went to Japanese school with my cousins when I was in Japan. And uh, it was really fun going to school with them. Coming right back to food, but I really loved the Japanese lunches. So good. There's a really great YouTube video on Japanese school lunches and yeah, it's uh, it's it's amazing how much time and care and energy goes into Japanese school lunches. Yeah. Do I prefer Osaka or Hiroshima Okonomiyaki? I prefer Osaka Okonomiyaki. The difference between Hiroshima and Osaka Okonomiyaki is that Hiroshima Okonomiyaki has a bunch of noodles in it, which I love the noodles. I think I prefer having the noodles and the and the okonomiyaki separately. Yeah, so I prefer Osaka okonomiyaki. How about you? Which one do you like? Okay, almost done. How? Where is everyone at? Are we ready to move on? Almost there. To everybody who's just hopped on and they're like, what's going on? Uh, we're making ge a geometric star. If you missed it, uh, I'm still making one piece, so you could join us for that. And then you can always rewatch this later if you need to. Uh, cinnamon biscuits are made the same way as regular biscuits. Add sugar and cinnamon to the biscuit. Ooh, <gasps> that sounds so good. Um, I made... Uh, my roommate gave us some old, oh, I still had two, some old French toast. No, no, I made French toast this morning because our roommate gave us some old bread that he didn't want. So I would kept it frozen in the, fr in the freezer for a few weeks, but decided I was going to make French toast. So yesterday I um, prepped it and then threw it in the oven toaster this morning and then put it on a 30 minute timer and then forgot about it. <laughs> so a couple of hours later I came back from grocery shopping and went, oh, there was French toast in the oven. Um, yeah, it was still good, <laughs> but I forget things a lot. So it's a good thing it was on a timer and didn't go the whole time. <laughs> Always reminded of a house lift. <sighs> Okay, almost there. Oh my goodness, it's already almost nine. Dream to nowhere. Ah, you are the highest and the lowest of lows. I am stuck on you and I say hello. I don't know what that will be more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel your pain. It's, uh, I feel your pain. I wish I could be there too. We cancelled the Al Japan tour, which I probably would have gone and come back by now, but we cancelled the tour and I don't know when we're going back again. Which is another reason why I love doing these um, live streams. It's a way to reconnect with everyone all over the world. And Twitch has been really great for that too. Meeting so many great people there. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, last one. Whoops. Make sure you do it on the same side each time. I almost did it on the wrong side. Moment. When was all this out of touch? Ooh. Hi, Japanese world traveler. You were born in Osaka prefecture, but still live near Osaka, the Hyogo prefecture. You have just had curry with rice. Oh my goodness, curry with rice, yes. Mm -hmm. um, curry with rice sounds amazing. I haven't had curry in a long time. 
but I bought some curry roux today, so maybe sometime this week. Yeah, your mom's Japanese and dad's American. That's cool. Um, my mom is Japanese too. My dad is from New Zealand. Do you know where New Zealand is? Oh, yeah. Born in Kyoto. Amazing. It's cool. The Japanese world traveler was born in Osaka and so Sophie, right? It's born in Kyoto. Quite a few people from Japan here. It's awesome. Do you speak Japanese? Nihongo shaberemasu ka? Okay, we now have, or at least now I have 12 pieces. How about everyone else? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go. If, or, or give me the number that you're at. Ryan Wells, seven, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Is anyone, is anyone ready to go? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm soaking in the sunlight. I'm soaking in the sunlight. Sunlight. <clears throat> ooh, 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 ooh. And holding up the deadlines. It's nothing like a lazy day to make my troubles fade away. I love udon and saba too. Saba is one of my favorites. I'm starting to get really hungry now. I probably should have eaten something before. <laughs> mm. The Japanese world traveler says that Kansai Jin, we've got Kiwi friends in Japan and Australia and New Zealand. That's awesome. That's so great. Okay, are we ready? I'm gonna give me a thumbs up when you're ready, okay? Okay, good. I'll wait a little bit. <clears throat> well, while you're folding, if you have another song request, my voice is a little bit funny right now, but I can try and sing you a song if you'd like. chicken soup for when the flu has got me down when we're here together 
You make the bad times better Under your umbrella when it's pouring all around You make the bad times better Whew. Do I know any Michael Jackson songs? Yeah, you want me to play a Michael Jackson song? You know, I know, um, uh, like, I Want You Back, Jackson 5 song. I could play that for you. When I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Those pretty faces always made you stand out in the crowd. Someone picked you from the bunch, one glance was all it took. Now it's much too safe for me to take a second look. Give me one more chance to show you that I love you Won't you please tell me back to your Oh baby, I was blind to let you go Now since I've seen you in her arms I want you back, Woo! I want you back I want you back I want you back I want you back one more day without your love is one long sleepless night Let me show you, boy, I'm no wrong for my eye Every street you walk on, I leave two strings on the ground Following the boy, I didn't even want to run Oh, darling, all I need is one more chance Won't you please let me back to your heart Oh, darling, I was blind to let you go Now since I've seen you in her arms I want you back I want you back Ooh. I want you back I want you back I want you back Woo! Thank you for your request Alright, how are we doing? Uh, is anyone ready to go? I haven't seen a thumbs up yet, so maybe I should sing another song. you Lynn where are you at Lynn do you have 12 is everybody ready you ready for the next step if I get two more thumbs up we'll keep going okay I'll play another song play a song that uh... Oh, konnichiwa, couch tomato
like there's some people ready to go to the next step next step here we come do, 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 do. okay cool welcome back Lynn <laughs> all right oh yeah this is really small to see on your this is way too small on your phone <laughs> especially because this screen I can't really adjust the screen but here we go Okay, I'm going to make the screen just a little bit bigger so we can see. But we're going to piece things together now. Amber is ready. Come on. Okay. This is going to be really fun. Uh, so let's just take two different colors, okay, and see how we've got this. Um, I'm left-handed, so I, you might want to, I don't know, swap. We'll see. But you're going to have these two facing the same way so just hold them like this hold them like this and take this corner and you're going to pop it in here so you're just going to slide it into this pocket right here until it won't go anymore like that does that make sense? yeah Okay, and then we're going to take, I have three colors, so I'm just going to take the other color, and I'm going to put this into here. Okay. Like this. Okay, and then I'm going to take this side and we're going to complete the pyramid. So I'm going to take this and fold it into here and you'll have like a pyramid with legs. It's like a spider pyramid. <laughs> yeah. Right? Does this look good to you? Wait, do that one again. Okay, so we have one side. We start like this. Put one side in this pocket. So it should look like this. Then we're going to take this 
and pop it in to this pocket. Okay, and then you're going to complete by pulling this tab out. It's going to be one tab left. And you are going to put it into the remaining pocket. And just kind of push it in until the pyramid is complete like this. You're just going to keep doing this with all of them. So I'm just going to leave this one here and just do the same thing. Going to do this. It gets easier with every time. Same thing. And get it out. Okay, and then fold this one in too. Yes. Okay. And then leave this here and just do the same thing and you should have four of these I think so Okay, all right, so what you want is these three pieces here, like this. So they should all be facing this way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pop this one into here, and you're going to pop this one into here, and complete the circle so that it becomes like this. And so just start with one side here. Actually, I want to have these colors this way and just see this pocket put it in so that it fits like this and then you're going to spin it around grab the other piece so it fits in like this and you're going to have this open one Flap that's left over, so pull it up and complete. Outside, inside, outside, inside, out. like so. Okay, mm -hmm. is anyone else confused? I'm gonna do one more. So we start with this, they're facing the same way, bring this over, so it's like this. If you lie it flat, it should kind of be like this, and then bring this same way. How's everyone doing? Do you have something like this? Your zigzag folds were backwards. Whoops! Oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully they're easy enough to fix. Yeah. How many hours? Yeah, if anyone else is having trouble, it might be the same. Uh, it might be the same problem where your zigzag wasn't facing the right way, but that's really easy to fix. Oh, Lynn, me too. Okay. 
Yeah. Should be easy to fix. Couch, couch tomato. <laughs> Beautiful mechanism. Yeah, it really is. It's modular origami is actually pretty fun. Okay, Jacob's ready. Awesome. Uh, I'll wait for maybe two, three more readies. So while I'm waiting for everybody, um, I've been thinking about different things that I can share during the Twitch live streams. The YouTube one I think I'll stick to just once a week, but I am also planning on releasing um, a YouTube video of like these short form tutorials because when it's not live, you probably just want me to get straight to the point. So I have been releasing those kind of videos too and we'll continue to release more of those that you can practice to later. But if there's anything else that you want to see, especially in the live streams lately, I've kind of just been sharing a bunch of things. So last week when I was making my music video, I was actually streaming that and just chatting with people and sharing my process. Um, I've been doing a lot of kintsugi, which is the repairing of ceramics using Metallics, so I use brass, but kin, kin means gold, so um, I've been doing this a lot on Twitch as well <laughs> and then singing and practicing a lot and so there's a lot of things that I want to try like looping and and so um, Twitch has been a really nice place, a safe space to try out new things and so if there's anything that you would like me to, to teach you like say we could even do um, an ukulele lesson or something a music lesson I can teach on there uh, just let me know like let me know what your requests are because I would just love to be able to connect and I've been teaching a lot recently I teach a lot of, of classes and private classes um, I teach about 25 classes a week so my voice gets pretty tired, but I would love to do more because I uh, love to do things. There's always a lot of things I want to do that never seem to have enough time for. But um, one thing that's really important to me is connecting with all of you and sharing not just the music, but origami and other creative things. and. Um, and I love teaching these kind of things. So if there's anything you would like to learn or like me to talk about um, Let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to teach you to fold let me know in the comments and Once you're ready to move to the next step. Let me know in the comments Still feel you here in the air I breathe. Close my eyes, melody. Feel you, feel you. I know I'm not alone. I still feel you here, and I can't let you go. Hero, who are my influences, um, musical influences? Kintsugi, well, 
金継ぎはおこのこの漢字読めないです金継ぎは<笑>なんだろう Who are my influences?、Um, my influences are recently I've been listening to a lot of Ben Rector. He's an amazing, amazing songwriter. His lyrics are incredible.、Um, my early influences are Goo Goo Dolls,、um, a lot of 90s bands. I love 90s bands. Jewel,、um, Madonna. There were a lot of. Of pop music in the 90s that were big influences to me. I love Switchfoot.、Um, who else?、Uh, lately, I've also been listening to a lot of Oh Wonder. They're a great band. Yeah, who do you like, Hiro? Who are some of your favorite musicians? あ、珍しい。お、珍しい。へ、なるほど。そういう感じなんですね。あ、そうですね。金継ぎ、金継ぎはアメリカ人からあの教えてもらいました。<笑>そしてあの私すごいリスペクトしているアーティストのあの方がいるんですけど、その人に金継ぎの曲を去年から作ってたので、その人にメールで金継ぎをあの日本が日本画家の人なんですけどその人に「金継ぎの曲書いてるんだ」って言ったら彼が「あすごいねなんかたまたま今コラ,ンコランバインっていう学校にいてあの金継ぎの17世紀の金継ぎのボールをあの寄付します寄付するんだ」っていうメールが返ってきて<笑>すごい鳥肌立ったそしてあの彼がその誘ってくれた中村さんっていう金継ぎマスターをあのロスに1月に誘って彼から金継ぎを学んで6次元っていうスタジオを彼が持ってるんですけど東京ですごいあのその昔の金継ぎよりはもうちょっと誰でもできる感じで彼が教えてるのですごくおすすめです是非行ってみてください。<clears throat> translation of <laughs>、um, someone was saying, Oh, Kintsugi、uh, is really、uh, unusual. It's like not a very common thing. And so I was just saying that, yeah, I,、um, I learned about the art form, the Japanese art form of Kintsugi from an American person last year when she said, Let's write a song about it. So we were writing a song on Kintsugi, and I texted my mentor, who's an amazing. Um, he, I didn't know he had anything to do with Kintsugi at the time, but he's a Nihonga、uh, painter and he's a very well respected、um, painter and he uses the traditional art form of Nihonga, which is pulverizing minerals to make these incredible artworks. And he studied at Tokyo University and l i k e he's an amazing man. So I texted him and said, I'm writing the song on Kintsugi and I thought of you. And, He responded with, That's amazing. I'm at Columbine right now, about to give a 17th century Kintsugi bowl to the、uh, families of the victims of Columbine because it was the 20th、um, memorial. And so、oh, I just got like goosebumps.、Um, I got goosebumps when he told me. I was like, What? <laughs> And so、um, I didn't know this at the time, but he was really starting to get into Kintsugi. And he,、uh, he brought a Kintsugi master from Japan to teach,、uh, to teach us. And he's, he's actually started or starting an academy with、uh, this Kintsugi master from Japan. And they use different materials.、Um, Kintsugi is this art form that I showed you, it's the fixing of or mending of broken ceramics. To make something new and make something that is even more valuable than it was because it was broken and because of the way it was lovingly restored and put back together. So I made this in his workshop. And、uh, yeah, and it's,、uh, it's, it's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful art form. It's very, it's very、uh, therapeutic and it's,、um, it just speaks. Doing this speaks to you because it's like, man, the brokenness inside of me, 
the way that, you know, for me as, um, as a Christian, it's like, oh, the way that God sees my brokenness is so different to how I see my brokenness. And it's, um, it's a very powerful experience. So uh, I've been taking these workshops and I've been training in the art of Kintsugi and hope that I can start doing workshops with you one day. It'll be a lot longer than origami and you would need a kit. So it's, it's much easier to do origami, but, uh, but yeah, the starting to, the kits will hopefully be available in, in a month or two. And so I have been teaching a couple of, of these workshops too. But I still feel like I'm a student, so don't feel qualified to teach, but, but this is something I've been doing too. And hopefully the song will get finished and come out soon. Hi, Ed. Nice to see you. Welcome. So are we ready to move on? Oh, Jiro-san, I didn't know Kintsugi. I didn't know Kintsugi, but I didn't know Kintsugi. Hi Dave in Canada. Oh, I like your name. It's like it's like we know exactly where you're from. I love that. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, Jesus is Jesus is my great healer for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey Ed, what's up? Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, hopefully, hopefully we are ready. Kintsugi sounds so cool to learn. Absolutely. Kintsugi is, um, Kintsugi is, uh, is, is beautiful. I really hope that I'll get to have in-person workshops one day and bring this to you. Because it's really fun to do in a group setting. Hmm. Okay. All right. Are we ready for the next step? I'm gonna make myself small again. Okay. So we've got these four pieces and we're gonna just start piecing them together. So I'm going to go with, I think, wait, which side am I doing? I'm gonna do, purple's been going into white, so let's do this. I'm gonna put purple into white. And so we're just gonna bring this here. Okay. And let's just, kind of add these on all four corners first and then see if we can piece it together. This is where it gets a little tricky, guys. <laughs> Bear with me, okay? I'm I'm even a little bit like, how do I do this again? Okay, so I'm just gonna bring this in. Where are we? Where are we? Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Is working. Um, okay. If it's all the same color, then maybe it won't matter so much. <clears throat> all right. Oh, I don't know if this is how I wanted it. Is this how I wanted it? I don't think it was, but that's okay. Okay, and then we're gonna just bring these pieces in together. So just join them where you can. Like this. It's gonna be really finicky and confusing and that's okay. You know, I kind of don't like how these colors are doubling up, so I'm just going to change mine a little bit and start over. Ah! There we go. Maybe we shouldn't do all three sides. Maybe I, I taught this wrong. But no matter how you do this and piece it together, I think as long as you as each side 
as each flap goes into a pocket, <laughs> we're gonna be okay. <laughs> so just see what you can do. We will get there eventually. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> and, yeah, it's, um, and we're already over by, oh my goodness, we're already over by 25 minutes. I typically like to keep these an hour, but this is, uh, this is, this is quite time consuming. <laughs> Please join us for the replay, though, Ed, that would be amazing. This doesn't seem to be going on. Why? Oh. oh, this wasn't done properly, that's why. Okay. Are you all okay? I'm having a hard time with my one. It doesn't quite... It doesn't quite piece together the way I hoped, but I think it'll get there. Okay, here we go. I think I'm at the last point. Beauty of love. Okay. How was yours? <laughs> Is it making sense? I'm not sure how much I can help you here. <laughs> I can pull it apart and try and piece it back together if you want me to. <laughs> but... Is it going okay? kind of fun. Uh, it was fun doing this with the different colors. I think three colors works. No, 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 no. Yeah, Jane-san, thank you. Jane-san, you made it? A little bit of time. Amber, you got it? Make sure that you tag me in your photos if you share them, because I would love to see what you have, and if you don't mind me sharing, I will, I will share it with everyone. It's always so great to see what everyone else has made. Does anyone have any last questions? We're good? You still have to fix the flower from... Oh yeah, we made a flower quite a few weeks ago. So all of these uh, live streams are available um, for you to see post. They're up on my YouTube channel. Ima nondeiru. Oh, Jun-san's drinking beer right now. Ah, Sunday afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, if you are interested in watching any of these, feel free to go back on my YouTube channel and try any of these out. I'm also going to make and post short form videos on my YouTube channel. And uh, I have one already of a shirt and tie and of a butterfly. So uh, I don't want you to try them out. And if you fold them and um, share your photos, I will share them too. Jacob used all red post-its. 
That's so cool. I didn't even know there were red post-its. You think you will need to wait to replay this? Yeah, I'm sorry. This was a little tricky, huh? Piecing it together, it takes a, it's like a puzzle. But think of it like an easier Rubik's Cube. Because you can actually change things around. So, um, please do that. That would be awesome. Thank you so much to everybody for joining me today. It was such a pleasure hanging out with you. Next week, I'll be back. We are actually going to make an owl next week. See if I can find, find it to show you. We're going to make this, guys. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be a little bit hard. But um, my friend Roxy is going to join us. And she requested an owl. I have special guest Roxy. She is so fun. And so please join me again next week. And if you're free tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m., I'm going to be on Twitch. And I have no idea what I'll be doing yet, but I'll probably be singing. So, yeah! And, um, and these are, of course, always free. Um, I'd love to do this. But if you'd like to tip me for these, you are more than welcome to. I think there's some in the comments. And I think... Uh, yeah, that's my... Uh, that's my Venmo and my PayPal. So if you'd like to send me, that would be, that'd be awesome. But no pressure. I just love doing these. And it's just so great connecting with you. So thank you again for joining me. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll see you next Saturday. Maybe I'll see your photos of your geometric stars. But uh, stay happy, stay safe, stay, um, take care of yourselves, everyone. It's been such a pleasure connecting with you. Yeah, thank you so much, Ryan. <laughs> thank you, Lynn. Thank you for inviting everyone. Thank you, everyone, for, yeah, for sharing this with your friends. This is the most difficult origami I've done. Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of hard today. Sometimes they're easy. Sometimes they're pretty challenging. I think t next week's owl is going to be really hard. Not really hard. She requested a different owl and I tried making it and it was, it was really hard. So this is going to be, I'll do my best to teach you this. Maybe one day we'll make an elephant. This was really hard, um, but cute. So we'll, we'll, we'll make some really fun, cool things down the road. So come join me again. Bye, John. Oyasumi. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye.